Well, I found the dude. Just give me a minute to calm down, will you? Calming. Calming. Oof. Shit. A moment longer and those cannibals would have had me over the fire. There's enough creatures out here trying to eat me without people trying it as well. Shit. Shit. That's not something I want to go through again. Hell. You've not got anything to drink, have you? Something to help a man get his head screwed back on? Here. This should help. Ah. That's good. There's something about a near-death experience that makes everything taste golden. You saved me. I mean, you saved my life. And I've learned a lot about Magalan's history. But cannibals? <laughs> I haven't heard of anything like that since the dark days after the comet hit. Most of what we live on in Tavar is from the past. So history is profitable. Interesting, too. You should learn it. What are you doing out here? The light beacon. I've always been fascinated by them. They used to be a cry for help. Or a way to give help, direction, guidance. I've seen leaders come and go in the fort. And there's only one constant. You have to rely on yourself. So, I look for ruins, visit the beacons, and I find things to earn shards. So I don't need anyone else. Brave for someone at your age. My age? <laughs> age is bullshit. Wrinkled or smooth skinned, life throws the same shit at you. I know these lands better than to come alone. I was traveling with a pair of scrap collectors. They needed a lead. I needed some help. On our way there, we got ambushed by a group of clerics. I didn't want a chance to fight with them. They were much better armed. So I got out of there. What happened to the scrap collectors? They didn't make the same choice. That's the problem with some people of their age. They think every fight is winnable. They think running away is the wrong thing to do. Yet, here I am at my age. I just wish I'd had their legs for running. The clerics caught up with me and took me prisoner. I'm here, aren't I? I waited until it was dark and I got out. I guess they thought I was too old to guard. And I got away with their leader's weapon. I think that must have made them angry. Now those clerics are out hunting for me. You can hear their horns. That's why I thought I'd head for the beacon. Get some scrap and get myself back to Tavor. Shards would mean safety. But you know what happened next? Damn Reavers. Life sure is cheap out here. Tell me about Magalan's past. Gladly. What would you like to know? Tell me about Tavar. Well, it might not seem like there's a lot of history here, but this place hasn't always been desert. When the comet hit, it turned this place into the wasteland you see. But not everything was destroyed. Some building complexes, like the fort, survived. Others were buried. When the sand shifts, other buildings appear, and then all the things that were left in them are there for the taking. Not that everything that's buried is good. Logan, the Duke as he's known today, they're sitting on a powder keg. Back before the comet hit, they stored weapons there. Serious, end of the world weapons. And they're still there, somewhere, along with a whole stack of the usual kind. What kind of weapons? I know the history, not the science. I'm no cleric. But these things were supposed to destroy cities. They were supposed to destroy countries. How could they do that? I don't know. Big explosions. Big explosions. And the fort is sitting on top of them. That's why I want shards. I want to be a long way from here if those things ever go off. What do you know about the Berserkers? They were a group living up in the woods, trying to grow their own food, and they evolved from there. Everyone else was fighting for what was left, but they decided to make something new. It was some guy called Amrik that started them. 
The new guy they have there, Tharald, the Pilgrim, sees himself as some sort of spiritual successor to Emmerich. He has changed things there. They're pushing out into the world more than they did. The Berserkers used to stay in Edan, mostly. They'd fight to protect their borders, make assaults outside them, and then pull back. Now they're holding ground. It seems the Pilgrim wants to purify all of Edan. They're gonna use their world hearts to change the world. They want to use their magic to turn the clock back and make Magalan what it was. Well, they'll change it. But whether Magalan was ever like they say, that's just a fantasy. How much do you know about the clerics? Secretive lot. They probably know more about history than the others, but they keep it to themselves. But this god they believe in, Kalan, I haven't seen anything anywhere about this god in records from before the comet hit. Why they've created a god and worship technology? Well, I can't understand it. Everything else they do is about knowledge and fact and observation. So why invent a lot of hocus pocus to go with it? Why did the clerics have so few men? The wars. They put their faith in their fighting machines. But either their prayers weren't answered or they had a technological hitch. They went into battle with the berserkers and their machines shut down. They were defeated. Heavy losses. Those left retreated into Ignadon. Anyone that didn't make it back was cut down by one faction or another. The clerics' numbers never recovered. I guess they must have fixed whatever the problem was with their fighting machines. It's never happened again. Tell me about the factions. Well, their recent history. I mean, they only came about after the comet hit. Before that, there were countries and governments. Millions of people organized into groups. Nothing like now. But the comet destroyed all that. There aren't really records from after the comet hit. No one was writing things down. They were just trying to survive. No leaders. All the things they relied on to survive had gone. But it didn't take long for people to form groups to get resources. And it didn't take long for those people to start fighting. All factions think they've got ways to save us. They're all just ways people are trying to survive. So, there are a lot of gaps in your knowledge of history? Well, some. There were more records kept during the Territory Wars. That was once the factions had formed and started fighting each other. I guess as soon as you're a group, you want to start keeping a history of who you are. History becomes more important. Anyway, instead of fighting over one or two tins, the factions started fighting over land. Elix. Resources. Any small factions that were left got absorbed or destroyed. I mean, these people were survivors. So you'd think that's what they'd want. To survive. Instead, there were yet more deaths. There aren't numbers, but I'd guess at least half of those still alive were killed. But that's just a guess. Finally, the people in charge realized the cost was too high. So they formed a council. The Great Council of Magellan and made a non-aggression treaty. A non-aggression treaty? That doesn't seem to have worked. Well, peace is always fragile. The Berserkers and Clerics have totally different ideas about Elix and technology, for a star. But, after all the deaths, the factions knew they risked their own destruction if they fought anymore. So, the peace lasted, more or less. There are always some hotheads, some isolated clashes over resources. But the leaders brought their people back into line. All the factions rebuilt their lands, worked on their own rules. So, what went wrong? The Alps. They were just a small splinter group. They went up into Zaykor, into the ice, and no groups were interested in that land. They built their strength, and then they invaded. The factions were taken completely by surprise. The Alps captured people, land, built their converters before the factions could respond. What happened to the prisoners, the dead? History doesn't speak of that. I've heard enough. At least you did listen. That's not always the case today.
Is there something you need? No, no, I'm okay. Don't waste your time on my old bones. The only thing I'm interested in is stories. <laughs> and I don't think you are the storytelling type. What do you know about the Elves? Hardly anyone knows anything about them. I mean, other than about their attacks. Maybe I could tell you a story about them? Now I am curious. Do you know why they use Elix? It makes them stronger, of course. Greater strength, lower levels of fatigue, reduce pain. It turns men into fighting machines. And not just physically. Elix keeps them clear thinking. It removes the emotions that could get in the way of orders. So it means no one can argue with orders. It reduces the chances. That's one of the reasons Alps are so successful. They operate together without question. Not all of them. Some operate alone. Then you've heard of the Eluxiters? They rule in Zaycor. They still consume Elix, but they are given a command rule. You mean like Wardek and Kallax? Or Jax? Have you heard of them? Yes. They are names to be feared. Though I had heard that Jax had disappeared. So the rumors say. What else do you know about the Alps? That they have as good as or better knowledge of technology than the clerics. That's because you and them have something in common. Me? What have I got in common with Alps? An interest in history. The Elexiters, well, I don't know for sure, but they have found some fragments of old world information. They're using that knowledge. They're interested in the old world? No, not at all. They just want the technology. Interest is... emotional. The past is something that's gone. They want the future. Interesting. Not many people seem to think about what the Alps want. That's all I know. That was very informative. Thank you. Give me the cleric's weapon. Why should I give it to you? We help each other out, right? Well, you had a beer for me. So yeah, all right. You can have it. How long are you going to stay here? I think I will get comfortable here. Maybe I'll even get this light tower working. Man needs something to do in life. I traded a beer for a whole gun. Or a hammer? Hammer. Well. Maybe I shouldn't eat that raw meat. Oh well. Not like it really changes much here. What else do we have? Safe that has golden chalices in it. Elex? Is that. Na yeah, that is natural Elex. Wow, they really do just throw that stuff at you. Did they not think about, like, how unbalanced it would make the game? Seriously, though, like, can I join that guy's faction? He seems to have, like, the right idea. I, I don't like the clerics that much. I don't like the berserkers for obvious reasons. I definitely don't like the outlaws. Can't I, like... I don't know, I feel like there should have just been a neutral faction that's just like, everybody here is dumb. Also, this map here looks really nice. Why couldn't they have made the whole map for the game look like this? Would have been really cool. I don't know. I like, uh... I like well-made maps. I was there. There is a series of platforms going up the side of the lighthouse. So we are going to go up this thing. I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't know if there's going to be anything up here. But we're going to go up anyway. Who knows? Maybe there will be something cool at top. Or nothing. That was weird and scary, but we're fine. I'm just going to keep saving. Why do we have a quest leading to this guy still? Heavy loss. Okay. We're up. Large bag of Alexa in the window. Oh. Thief's hiding place. A lot of money. Okay. 
So zero, five, three, four. Five, nine, eight, four. Eight, five. I'm in. There we go. Yeah, just don't even pay attention to the uh, the time limits and you're going to be fine. That was kind of a disappointing load from there. Cigarettes and some metal scrap? I mean... Energy cells. Random photograph. An explosive bolt. How the... How this guy even get up here? I have no idea. Whoa, whoa, camera. Camera, hold all of your horses and then some. Go find some more horses and hold on to those. That was very weird and uncomfortable. Okay, uh, well, we're done with that. We don't have a wait waypoint here, but that's fine. So let's go back to this guy. He had another quest for me, but it was like go gather information from somebody that I don't care about. Admittedly, I should probably just say screw it and just uh, get on with the game. But these quests don't really take that that much time to beat. I got your weapon back. Then I am grateful, and Kalan will hear your words. You helped a brother and a comrade. I never doubted your integrity. This is for you. Here's some grenades and money. Don't spend it all in one place. Or blow them all up. Uh, don't blow it all in one place. Har har. Okay. Well, we're done with that. Uh, let's... let's see. So hands off. Wolf and sheep's clothing. So those are those are quests that I'm kind of eh, on. Burgeoning threat. Counterfeit paint papers. No, we've done that. See, so there's the sounds in the dark. I'm not entirely sure if that would even help us that much. So yeah, let's go back to this. Where we do have Big Bang. Hmm. Let's go with this one. Power uh, effectively... Oh, camp in the center. Yeah. Using it as like a neutral meeting ground? That sounds like an interesting place to check out, sort of. Because, yeah, I I want to go back to the Walled City at some point. That that does seem like it has, it still has a fair amount of like interesting things to it. More so, I just haven't spent any time there. I walked in completed the quest that I needed to complete and then decided it was I was done so we got a big old troll I ain't paying no troll at all that's a big troll this one's still got a skull on him I'm so glad I ditched melee in this game I really wish I could see this guy's HP bar Let's see. Now, I've got a lot of respect for anybody that still plays this game. Uh, or has played this game full melee. It might even be better than, uh, than ranged combat, but it... You'd have to do a really good job of convincing me that that's true, though. Like, the flamethrower, the... The flamethrower, the, um... The Redeemer, like, both of those are just, like, two ridiculously powerful weapons. And, like, I can't imagine melee working better than that. Maybe, I mean, it definitely, I guess, saves you a little bit of money here and there. Maybe? No, it probably doesn't. Because back when I was trying to do melee, I'd spent a fortune in healing items. Trying kind of hard to not hit the berserkers here. Smart decision. I was helping you, ass hats. Well, whatever. Let's get up to this place. We're almost here. 
Actually, was that a berserker? Or uh, was that like a berserker trader? Oh, it was. Hello. Uh, I is this the? I think we've seen this guy before. Yeah, we have. I mean, he does sell cultivators loaves. We'll pick those up. Kind of hoping you'd have some at Elix, but honestly, I can kind of see why nobody would have that. Oh, by the recipe, he does not even sell any ammo here. Yeah, whatever. Well, that was easy. That's <laughs> all mine. Yes. Okay. So we're pretty close to the camp. We're just fighting like regular skexes and like really weak stuff at this point. God, I remember when these things would wreck me in like two hits. They might still. Like I actually have not gotten hit by by anything apart from like a human in a while. So I actually do not know how uh, durable we have become over the course of this quest. Oh, there's the camp in the center. Like normally with games, as you get higher in levels, uh, your damage goes up, but also your uh, your durability. I could not tell you if I could uh, take a hit from one of these things. And I don't know if I'm ever going to find out. Like, very real possibility, I can just beat this game without sustaining many more enemy attacks. I get the feeling the boss is, the, like, the, the final boss might give me some trouble. But maybe not. It's weird I was not expecting a cutscene here. But uh, we had one. Now what is what is the point of this place? There's no guards, which seems like a terrifyingly stupid idea. Let's see, do any of you guys matter? Settlers. So it looks like it's just a berserker encampment of sorts. You seem important. Hi, I'm Annie. Are you here to make a donation? Every shard you can give will go into building up our little community here. Yeah, I'll make a donation. That is great. I'm glad to hear that. You'll have our gratitude. You can be sure that everything you give will go to helping people. And if you like, you can even donate to a specific cause. We are hoping to make the place look better and to get the equipment we need. You know, workbenches and things like that. Let me know what you think would be helpful. I will take care of it. So, what'll it be? I would like to donate shards to the camp. No problem. What would you like to build? Interesting. So it's it's one of those uh, towns that you can kind of upgrade by participating. Uh, well, let's hire a trader. Okay. So this place this place seems. Like, it's kind of more my style. I would like to donate shards to the camp. No. Okay, so let's... I don't have that much money. Uh, let's get some futuristic furniture. Make everything all cleric -y. I like. Oh, I wonder if I actually get my house as part of this. I would like, like to a donate house as part shards of this. to the camp. No problem. Okay, and let's get a cleric out bench. I think I just have enough money for that. Alright, we're good. Uh, I might... I might go get more money and just keep throwing cash at these guys. Uh... Just because. So is that the only thing she does, or can I, can I talk to her for more than that? Nope. So, really, that is all she does. Oh, well, that's okay. It looks like a number of the settlers are now... Actually, it looks like all the settlers are just kind of hodgepodge it. 
Well, I guess it makes sense. Neutral grounds. This one seed of hope can grow a whole world. Welcome to Origin, stranger. I am Lloyd, spiritual father and leader of the people here. And who are the people here? Threatened by the storm from the north. We keep watch with pride and confidence. Let your weapons rest and draw new strength from our fire and our company. We are here to provide an alternative. We are here to hold back the Alps, but without all the lies that come with the great factions. You think you can hold back the Alps on your own? Sounds rather naive for this small group of free people. Great vision is always ridiculed. War is like every game. The points are only really counted at the end. The war is just a game to you? No. But life is always easier when you know the rules of your opponent. Tell me about your vision. I have seen this world in all its broken glory. I have seen that the different factions that have risen since the Great Catastrophe all have one thing in common. They are all prisoners to their laws. They are all prisoners of their past. But amongst all of those factions are people who have seen this for themselves. And this camp is their point of contact. You are fighting for the free people? We fight for freedom and self-determination. We defy the oppressors and all those who blindly follow them. One day, one day there will come a person, someone in our midst who can change the world from its very foundations up. And I believe I believe that that person has come to us here and now today. You think I'm the person who can change the world? Let's drop this foolish masquerade. We both know who we're talking about, Commander. And who do you think I am? You are Jax, Alb Commander. He who left Zaykor who was said to be dead, but is risen. You lost the power of the past, but you didn't crumble. Oh no, for here in front of me, I see here an upright, strong person and his internal conflict between human and machine. Who, if not you, could really make a difference? You who straddles the worlds of Zekor and the free people, of life and death. I didn't rise from the dead. I narrowly escaped execution. Modesty and ability together in one person. You will be more than a figurehead. You will be a leader. You offer people shelter here? People? Yes. That is the point. We are all people. Whatever labels we have put upon us. The domed city is a shelter for those who want a new start but who cling to their old past. Here, all people give up on their belief of the past to build a new future for themselves. So, to win their trust, show them that you believe that too. That you look forward, not back. What do I have to do to be allowed to stay here? Fit in. If the people like you, then you will have a place to stay here. Who do I have to prove myself to? Well, start with those with the most influence. That will persuade the others. There's our scout, our guard, Jonesy. He helps protect us from the local mutants. Then, there's Eckhart. He is responsible for the overall defense of this place. And of course, Harley, our mechanic. You can probably make him happy if you bring him something interesting to repair. They're good men. And they are waiting for a leader. How do you defend this place? A number of experienced, expert fighters have come to our cause. Enough to keep back the mutants and the Alb patrols. Alright. So we've got... We've got this. I was afraid when I got here that this was actually the neutral faction that I was supposed to join. But it looks like I'm okay. Some, uh... 
kind of menacing iconography they've gotten here. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'm supposed to become the leader of the... Not the leader of the free people, necessarily, but the leader of... Well, people around here. Is this just a random... Friendly Jackal? A tame Jackal? I've never met one like this before. Yes, you have. But yeah, so it looks like we've got a whole bunch of uh, bunch of people to talk to, a whole bunch of new quests to pick up. I'm actually kind of excited. Uh, <laughs> I'm tired of working for jerks. Uh, and it seems like that guy at least had some idea of, you know, well, doing the right thing-ish. Let's go grab the uh, waypoint before I forget. Because I'm going to need it. Uh Oh, cultivators lo loaf as it went by. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to build this place up. We'll spend the next couple episodes here, uh, or doing whatever people need around here. Just gonna look around for a second, and uh, then, you know, supposedly I, I thought I got a house here, but I, I guess not. The phantom string. That's interesting. Now, some part of me still believes that maybe I should have joined the Berserkers, but, like, whatever. I guess I wouldn't have gotten the hella fancy flamethrower nonsense. Which, like, it's pretty hard to beat uh, the flamethrower combo. I don't know, it just, I still feel like the, the Berserkers are kind of jerks, but generally best interest in place. The clerics are creepy as hell. But there's there's something wrong with that whole faction. No, well, I guess we should probably go talk to Harley. <laughs>